Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply sunless tanner. I'm gonna show you my tricks just to get that perfect ombre-like effect from your self-tanner. No more zebra stripes. Three things you'll need to get some color and some life back into you after the winter. Cetaphil lotion, San Tropez, and a mitt. First step, Cetaphil lotion. So I apply a pretty generous amount on my hands, rub it in. I leave it pretty thick, almost looking like this. Take a little bit more. I go in between my fingers. I'll get a little bit on my elbows. Go in between your fingers because that's where all the dry skin is and you don't want the sunless tanner to stick there because that's when it appears like really orange and crusty. That's not what we want. Go on the fingertips. You don't want your nails to get stained. If there's any excess, then I will just wipe it off on a tissue. All right, after moisturizer, I put my mitt on. Now, I've already used this mitt before, but I washed it. This is the stain that's in there. Take your tanner and do two pumps. Start on the shoulder. I twist my arm back and forth, and then I just work down and just buff it on. Now, if you feel like you need one more pump, you always can do another pump, but before you add another pump, just make sure that you're buffing all the way down. I go all the way to the wrist. Last month, I was in Sephora and I came across this new formula of Saint Tropez Foam Bronzer. I have been putting this bad boy to the test to see if it's worth the 44 bucks I spent on it. I don't have to wait for the formula to fully develop. This advanced formula works pretty simple. One hour, a light tan, two hours, medium, three hours, a deep dark. I have been using sunless tanner for as long as I can remember. I have to admit, formula and texture has come a long way since my first ever sixth grade Neutrogena Oompa Loompa spray tan disaster. And who could ever forget the mystic tan? Yikes. For those of you who have never experienced this, you stand nude in a plastic booth with a countdown, three, two, one. A blast of toxic cold chemicals shoot out at you all at once, leaving you confused about life. I could never master the mystic no matter how hard I tried, and I would leave with stained hands and feet for the following week. But I have to say, nothing compares to the foam formula of Self Tanner. Use the buffing mitt and say goodbye to orange hands and feet forever. I have mastered the ombre-like effect of making this tanner gradually fade on my wrist and down my ankles. On my translucent skin, it looks so natural. The Saint Tropez foam is one of the best I have ever found. All right, our tanner's on. Another tip I wanna share is if you're applying sunless tanner right before you go to bed, wait about 30 minutes for it to dry down. Once it's dry, you're gonna be fine, but just put a set of old sheets on the bed just to be on the safe side. It is gonna come off on the sheets and don't worry, it's gonna come off in the washing machine the next day. And also, when you shower the next morning, it is gonna come off, but you're still gonna be left with a gorgeous tan. It's just extra tan that's coming off in the shower. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Repeat this weekly and you will be left with gorgeous glowing skin. Happy tanning.